Hey, welcome back into in today's video. The rep reports, the news that matters to you. You like new coffee mug? We've got a lot of updates from videos I've covered this week. Uh, first being Eugenia. Now Eugenia posted a video, made a lot of people angry. It was very obvious that she'd stopped caring. Ethan from H3H3 Podcast is being sued for $50 million. And Boogie2988, um, he had to go to jail. Now this is something that upsets me. I don't feel like he deserves what's going on. We're going to talk about that. All that and more as the rep reports. If you're unfamiliar with who Eugenia is, she's an American YouTube personality and Twitch broadcaster. She's most notable for her ED. She's done a lot of terrible things um, within the past year. It's none of none of them are good. I've covered them. Those videos will be in the pinned comment. She recently posted on Twitter, "Do things your own way," and I'm pretty sure that's the attitude that she's taking with this situation. The video that we covered just a few days ago, Eugenia just flashed the internet. We talked about how the circumstances surrounding it were just bizarre. Let's own up to our actions like the adults we are. Little clavicle, I think I have owned up to it. It's like, yeah, I wore underwear in a video. It happened to end up showing. I don't see it as as big of a deal as some people are making it into, to be honest. Nothing private showed. That's my action. You know, I've, I've said that. Now, when I was filming it, regardless of like what some of you guys want to think, I did not notice that any of my underwear was showing. But do I care that much? Honestly, not really, to be completely honest, because like the thing is, the video is about my shoes. If some of you guys want to like make it into something different, then why is it still up? Because I don't care. Nothing private is showing. Um. This is about the only shoe haul you're going to see that doesn't focus on the shoes. When she's showing the shoes, they're almost completely out of frame at points. And it's focused directly on uh, center stage, if you know what I mean. Guys, kids have seen underwear. It's, it's crazy because it's like, I'll see people post in bathing suits. I'll see people post like on Instagram, like literally in underwear. And I don't see a problem with it, really. I mean, because there's minors on Instagram, too. And some people that I'll see some of you guys praise, which is totally fine. I don't think anyone should be shamed for anything. But there's literally people, even on Instagram, that, again, I don't think should ever be shamed for this. But, like, we'll post, like, wearing, like, underwear. And we hear it straight from her own mouth that she just absolutely does not care about this. From a month ago. What's wrong with stretching, guys? You don't want me to stretch. Yoga with Eugenia. Yes. Oh my gosh, thank you! Hannah! Hannah! In another video from 1321, somebody asked to see her shoes. And it's very interesting within this specific live stream how she goes uh, about approaching it, where she's very. Uh, conscious that she could accidentally show her underwear very worried about showing her underwear so it shows me that she understands completely that uh, well most of us do if you put your legs straight up in the air then you're going to show underwear but i wanted to show you this to let you guys know that she knows whether she's doing this or not can you see them up close from the front well i don't know about that because i just don't want to accidentally like expose myself or anything um, I mean, I can show you them to you like that. It's just if I lift them up, I could see that going really wrong. So that's the thing with that. Like if I just kind of lift up my leg and I just don't want to accidentally like expose anything. And then just to point out the move in the box thing a little bit more, uh, in a recent live stream, 31821. Oh, wait, why do I have my makeup in there? <laughs> wow, sorry you guys. Let me move that here. She actually pokes fun at, uh, the moving of the makeup bin followed by the donations even though we've proven that this is something that is an ongoing thing and very obvious she calls it a, co a conspiracy theory um oh no you moved it oh my gosh guys let the conspiracy theory start i know everyone's gonna be like there she goes again moving that bin again to further illustrate the point that she's moving into a realm of where she just is is done and she doesn't care 
uh, about hiding things anymore. Somebody donates in a 423.21 live stream. Why, why she acts like she doesn't have an ED, she says. Thank you. Why do you act like you don't have? Why do you guys care? Seriously. Because I feel like I'm doing okay. And like, you know, I feel like people want me to like come out with like, like people want me to be like, oh, like whatever. But it's like. You can just see that she's just fed up with it. She's over it. She doesn't want to deal with it anymore. Um, also in the news. <laughs> Ethan Klein of H3H3 Podcast is currently being sued by Triller. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Triller, Triller's the event promotion uh, company that did the Jake Paul boxing match versus Ben Askren. So the Jake Paul versus Ben Askren boxing match on Triller got a lot of pay-per-view buys. And they were very serious when it comes to uh, people... Uh, rebroadcasting and pirating it and they was up front saying that they were going to sue people. On May 3rd, 2021, Triller announced that they opened a website for anybody who pirated the April 17th Triller Fight event to pay the original $49.99. They got till June 1st, after which the company is going to pursue individuals for the maximum civil penalty of $150,000 per illegal stream. In this announcement, they added the H3 podcast, saying the site's owner admitted on his own podcast that he pirated and shared the Paul vs. Askren fight. The legal action could result in civil fines up to $150,000 per illegal stream, as well as a potential $250,000 in criminal fines and up to five years in jail. The fines are calculated at $150,000 per instance. So H3 and other sites who rebroadcast the event to many people, the damages are large, apparently $50 million large. In response to this, Ethan tweeted, Apparently I'm being sued by Triller. News to me, especially considering I did not rebroadcast it or pirate it. Which is a little bit contradicting to his actual own words. <laughs> but I you don't know. know why the ref called it. I just found that the obscene. I, you know what? I, I waited I thought, so I... long for that. You watched? I watched the whole. I, oh. I bootlegged it. I pirated it. In H3 Podcast episode 244, he also admitted it a second time. Same. 1.5 million pay-per-view orders. I didn't pay for that shit. I almost did, but Ian came through with the link. Daddy. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you gonna play cool? You didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything. Ian, you sent me the link. Come on, I'm you doing. had like backups and backups and backups. I was like, this that one's not working. Me. I'm gonna buy it. You're like, hold strong. You sent me one Don't that works. So originally, Triller wasn't suing everybody individually, but now they are, and they're suing H3 Podcast, uh, the business entity, directly for copyright infringement, violation of Federal Communications Act, violations of computer fraud, vicarious copyright infringement. The lawsuit says that Ethan acted knowingly, willfully, unlawfully, with blatant disregard to Plankton's copyright in the broadcast by uploading the broadcast to the aforementioned YouTube channel and personally profiting therefrom, including via the generation of ad revenue due to the consumer's interest in broadcast. So now if you remember correctly, they wanted 150,000 per illegal view. That is a lot considering that some of Ethan's videos get millions of views. Well, they want, it's resulted in damages suffered by the plaintiff in excess of $50 million by stealing and diverting upwards of 1 million unique viewers of the illegal and unauthorized viewings of the broadcast from plaintiff. Now, usually in situations like this, the defendant will settle because it's easier, it's less time consuming, it, uh, it's less money. We've seen in the most recent James Charles lawsuit where he talked about this. It gets really, really expensive really fast for the defendant, which in this case is myself. So most of the time, the defendant will settle, which basically means paying an amount of money to, ew, sorry, paying an amount of money to the person making the suit to just drop it and move on. He would do a settlement so he wouldn't have to pay the full $50 million. They'd probably do some, do a few million or so. I, I don't know. It would be significantly less than $50 million, which seems pretty life-changing. But uh, Ethan says that he's going to go the full length. He's going to fight this. 
In the most recent episode of Philip DeFranco, he actually got a comment from Ethan saying this. He reached out to Ethan Klein for comment and he said, it's fair use. Read their complaint. It's $1 million times $50 per view. It's literally a fair use lawsuit and anything else is just a distortion. It's a huge media company trying to suppress fair use and undo everything we worked for with the Matt Hoff case. If you're unfamiliar with the Matt Hoff case, it was a huge lawsuit that uh, Ethan ended up winning for fair use and it was huge for YouTube because it showed that companies couldn't push us around. So now he's aligning himself himself with this saying that this is another attack on fair use the only other thing i'm going to say on it is he does seem very confident and uh i know that there are occasions where he said that he pirated it but it could be a joke he i mean i don't see why somebody would why ethan would just go out there and be like oh i totally did this illegal thing everybody come and sue me I, it, it seemed kind of like he was just joking. Um, let me know what you think about that. Other than that, I do think that what he does in standing up to these corporations uh, and media agents about the fair use ordeal is pretty cool. He does that for the whole uh, ecosystem there, the whole community. Um, I'm going to sit back and watch what happens in this situation. Other than that, also in the news. I want to talk about the Boogie 2988 situation now. A lot of you guys might know, and if you don't know, he had to turn himself in to jail. He was wanted by the police, and the story that's being put out there, I feel like it doesn't accurately portray the events that took place, and so I'm going to fill you in on what happened and why. That's right, Greg, and why did Boogie have an arrest warrant? If you're reading news articles, it says YouTuber Stephen Williams, otherwise known as Boogie2988, has been issued an arrest warrant over a confrontation with a rival YouTuber last year. Williams allegedly fired a uh, projectile into the air as a warning when Frank Hassel arrived at the door of his Arkansas home in September. Now, Frank Hassel, and I talked, I did a whole video on this. I'm going to put it in the pinned comment. I want you to watch it. Frank Hassel has a history of just being a terrible person. He harasses people. He does all kinds of just really terrible things. And just out of nowhere, he decided he was going to start doing this to Boogie. He threatened Boogie. He threatened to harm Boogie. He traveled to Boogie's house uh, several states away and then took pictures and said that he was at, he was in his hometown and he was there to harm him. Boogie said, do not show up. I will take care of things. Then the dude shows up and Boogie came out and did what he said he was going to do. I feel like Boogie has a right to protect himself. He has a right to protect himself, his friends, his animals, and his property. This is how it played out. One user asked Boogie on Twitter, why doesn't he just meet up with Hassel and work out the uh, differences? Boogie says, I have offered to do that time and time again. I went on the kill stream to discuss it. He doesn't actually believe these things, so there's no convincing him to stop. He's only doing it for the sake of harming me and my mental health. Hassel tweeted saying that he was in the area and that he was going to come to Boogie's house. This made Boogie very paranoid. Come on, you f What's the deal? Where's the gun at, you fat? Open fire! Open fire! You're a fat! You won't even open the door? I will. And then what? You're going to shoot me? You're going to shoot me? I guess so, buddy. Give me a second to get my dog right. You're right. <laughs> and I got to say, yes, it was wrong for Boogie to, you know, put off a projectile into the air. Because uh, that that could have came down and hit somebody. It, it, when, a, when it goes up. It's got to come down, and it could have hit somebody. It could have um, been life-threatening. So, yeah, he def there needs to be some repercussions on that. But the way that it's being put out there, he w the warrant was for aggravated 
with a bond set at 5,000. And they used a picture of Boogie from like eight years ago. I feel like this charge does not accurately represent the, what it, what went on. In this situation, Boogie shouldn't be the one that's in trouble. Boogie shouldn't be, like, he very much is the in this circumstance. Frank Hassel came at him, and I just want to let you guys know, well, the story that's being put out there is it doesn't portray what happened. Um, if somebody's coming to your house on your private property and they're, they're going coming to harm you, you have a right to defend yourself. Uh, you know, I also understand him firing that off in the air is completely dangerous. Yeah, he should get some... He should get in trouble for that. But I think you guys can understand where I'm coming from in this. The story that's being put out there to the pub, mainstream public doesn't accurately represent things. And just paints him as just just terrible, uh, loose cannon type person when it, that couldn't be further from the truth. So I wanted to put it out there, let you guys know. But I do want to know what you think about this. Let me know what you think about on all these stories because... As interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right. You guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative or interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up those likes as always, brothers and sisters. I will see you in the next video. I did it. I said at the beginning of this week, I'm going to put out a video Monday through Friday. Every day of the week. It was hard. I don't know how I used to do it. The first two years I was on YouTube... I was consistent every day, every day for two years, didn't miss an upload. And then online pressure gets to you the bigger that you get. And uh, I, would, I, would, I, I tasked myself to see, could I do it? And this is my Friday video. When it comes out, it will be the Friday video. So whew. that's Rep Squad, Best Squad vibes. Positivity turtles in the chat. I want to see walls and walls of turtles in the chat. And I, I just want to sleep for the next two days. I'm going to be off on, uh, well, Friday and Saturday. So, yeah, man, I'm just really proud of myself. I'm proud of this community. We're about to, we're getting really close to 200,000 subscribers. I never thought in a million years I would have this many uh, followers. So, I really, really, really appreciate it. It means a lot. Something else, oh heartburn something else i want to say i'm proud about is our fundraiser for rain is currently at 5600 of ten thousand dollars raised we're ahead of schedule on that 50 over 50 percent i'm really really proud of this um i'm really proud of you for helping me do this so and i know there's a lot of people out there that uh either they're in a country that they can't donate or that they don't have the money to donate that's okay um, if you've seen the ad on my video, or if you've donated, or anything like that, I do donate a portion of my income. Uh, last year I did it to Feeding America, and this year I'm going. it's going to rain. So, I do do that, the ad sense, so, or ad revenue. So, I'm tired, I'm sleepy, I'm going to bed, Good night. love you. It's just nobody said that you're repping, if you're not repping, you're getting, hey, do that, I'll go to subscribe, notifications turned on. And don't forget to subscribe, because, dang it. I messed up my outro again. This channel loves you. Greg!